Hey everybody, this is SkyGuy264, and today I want to talk about improvements to ca Castle Clash. Ooh, I almost said that wrong. <laughs> uh, you know, we all love this game. I enjoy playing it, but with anything, we can always improve it. So, I have some, some ideas that I've just kind of been kicking around in my head these past couple days. And I figured I'd throw them out, see what you guys thought. Maybe if they're worthwhile, these are things that we can submit to uh, IGG and maybe get them implemented. So I'm going to just jump right into them. Uh, my very first thought uh, came out, well, just from that video the other day, and that's the ability to toggle either uh, both magics and troops. So when you're within a battle, uh, instead of having to do my, my little workaround, right, for clicking on the guardian to deselect the magic, why not just make that a toggleable button? So you can click it once, you can use it if you want. If you don't want to use it anymore, you know, in the case of restoration, you can just click it again and it deselects it. Super easy, super fast. That really wouldn't be hard to implement. Uh, so another idea that I was just, I just had yesterday so if we go into in here, right, we've got our nine minute timer until we get another dungeon attempt. Instead of forcing me to come into, into my phone and into Castle Clash every single time I want to check, you know, how many attempts that I have, why not have a, uh, the ability to push a message to your phone that lets you know when you've got maxed out on your your dungeon tries, or your arena attempts, or for that matter, here be monster attempts. And so, I, I mean, I know another, uh, I know a bunch of other applications already do this sort of thing. They notify you uh, of certain events, right? Maybe, say, take a Facebook application, lets you know when you've got a message. Why not have Castle Clash notify me that I've got another attempt that's ready to be used? You know, that way, like I said, you don't have to log into your, your account every single time. You don't have to check your phone. It's just a quick look at your phone and you'll know instantly. So you could set up a whole bunch of different preferences on that. Obviously, not everybody would be interested in that. So you could have it in your profile so that you could set it to notify you of only maybe arena attempts, if that's all you're interested in, or only here be monsters, or you could do all three. But I think that would be very useful, certainly for me. And, you know, I'm sure other people would be interested in you know, such a feature. Now that I'm on that train of thought of running dungeons, uh, I've got some improvements specific to dungeons. Or in this case, I suppose it could also work for raiding. Uh, why not give the ability to position your heroes on your uh, deployment bar? So what do I mean by that? When you go into a battle, and I'm just going to jump in one so that we can kind of show this off. Right down here. My executioner's first and my assassin's second. Well, after all, my hero, or sorry, my troops, rather. Why not have the ability to click and drag him anywhere I want? Or for that matter, move assassin before him. And what does that buy us, really? Well, if we have the ordering that we want, all we have to do then is just single click every single time to deploy all of our troops in the order that we want to deploy them. You know, it would be really helpful to be able to deploy, um, say, our tank first every single time we come into a raid. And you don't have to worry about doing this every single time manually. So my thought is it would save your preference, you could set up a default order, and you could change it as you needed to if you really wanted to for a particular battle. You know, maybe it makes more sense to have, I don't know, Spirit Mage, or say Druid, or Thunder God come out first. But you'd have that ability to change that around however you want. Well, great, now that I'm in here I better just chuck these guys down. Uh, and so, another dungeon or raid level improvement that would be helpful you know when you have a whole bunch of different troops on this, like the same exact square and you can't see their health bars very well? Why not have the ability for your heroes to have, say, maybe down, down the side, show off each little hero portrait along with their health? You could even do it down here at the bottom during in your little deployment bar area. So that way you'd know for any given hero exactly what their health is, rather than trying to, like, 
you know, you, you shift around the screen a little bit and then you try to zoom in and out to try to make the health bars not align on top of each other. This would allow you to, at a glance, be able to see every single hero's health. You know, right now we're showing level 54, level 20 for Assassin and Executioner. Why not just show their health below them? Or maybe in addition to that information as well. Just something that's easily glance glanceable <laughs> while you're playing. You can make the decision to throw down Restoration or whatever, you know, Guardian Angel, whatever spell to help you in your game. So it's just more information giving, giving it to the players to allow them to make the decisions that they need to make. You know, those split-second decisions to be able to, you know, play the game better. You know, be more informed. So, my last one... Uh, I shouldn't say my last one. My last one pertaining to this direct screen that we're looking at right now. Why not here, like, say either above the exit button, or maybe you'd reposition the exit button. But my thought is to have a retry button. So let you redo this dungeon if you've got the attempts to do it. Uh, I mean, this would help in farming. Uh, it, it, it's just a pain in the ass, because look, this is what ends up happening, right? I click exit. Let's pretend that I have more tries. Now i got to click back into this little dungeon dealie, scroll to the exact dungeon that I want, and then go all the way over here and select the one that I want, right? That's, that's really a pain in the neck. While you're farming, you're just wanting to get through your tries as quickly as possible. Why not give the user a quick retry button, let them re-enter that same dungeon, if they want, or exit and find another one. So, you'd probably have to reposition the exit button, like I was saying, maybe to the, the bottom left part of the screen and have the retry button in the middle. Something so that you're not accidentally clicking retry if you didn't mean to. But it would save me a lot of time, and again, I'm assuming a lot of people a lot of time. Now, similar to that thought, here we've got our magic, right? We used a restoration. Why not be able to sign default magic uh, and allow you to rebuy it after, say, doing a dungeon or a raid? Now, it wouldn't be something that you would have to do. Um, it, it would, again, be maybe another button. <laughs> I love these buttons, you know, but uh, another button that allows you to automatically rebuy it if you've got the gold for it. Because you close your raid, you close your dungeon, you come here, you have to click into your relic hall. First of all, who the heck knows where it is? Some of us keep it in the same spot, but like on my other account, if I'm shifting buildings around a lot, I have to like look around for it. I'm like, where's my relic hall now? I have no idea. Okay, it's over here. You know, click into it. Then actually scroll through this thing, this terror. It's just annoying for me to have to scroll over. On my main especially, because I have to go to Guardian Angel, I'm buying Ars Fervor and Restoration, so I have to do all this scrolling just to buy the same spells that I use over and over and over again. And the whole point of this mobile application, you're supposed to make this as intuitive and easy for the user as possible. Why not just give them a quick rebuy option? I set my default, in this case it would be Ars Fervor and Restoration, and then anytime I finish a dungeon, all I have to do is click it, rebuy it, and I'm happy. I can retry it immediately right after that. Um, so these are just some quick thoughts that I was having. I think they would really improve the, uh, the game experience, certainly for me and I think for a lot of other people. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of more other improvements. Bunch of more? <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of improvements that, uh, that I've thought about and I, I've got written down. I think I will split them up because these videos will be getting so long if I go through all of them in a single video. Alright fellas, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Oh, it's helping me so, so very much and I just love to hear from you guys. So please comment, let me know if you have any questions, let me know if you hate what you're seeing, and if you have improvements that you'd like to see, do let me know. I will absolutely do my best to implement them. You know, likewise, I try to answer to every single comment that I get right now. I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Lay it on me. Hit me with as much as you can. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give it my best shot. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Leave me feedback, both positive or negative. I'd like to hear both. Uh, you know, some of it makes me feel good, the others, I want to make these videos as enjoyable as I can for you guys.
because that's the whole point of us being here. <laughs> All right, until next time, take care, everybody.